Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So if you're seeing this video, either you are a subscriber and you are interested in my new ultimate final boss series where I'm going to kill every single boss 1,000 times and get every single drop from these bosses. That means that at the very minimum, I'm going to be killing every single boss 1,000 times. And if I get all the drops in that amount of kills, so be it. I have to kill the boss a thousand times. If I do not get all the drops from that boss, which I expect to go extremely dry on at least a couple of the bosses here. I know a couple of the drops are very rare. I'm going to have to continuously kill this boss until I get a thousand kills. So it's going to be very long term. I'm going into this knowing it. I'm going to be doing this for years, basically. It's going to be a couple year project if I want to finish this up. Uh, so, if you guys want to see all that, hit the subscribe button, and I will get to a breakdown of all my goals for this series. So, let's get this started with some series goals. Uh, you're going to be seeing this slide quite often. I'm probably going to be showing it at the beginning and end of every single main episode of the Ultimate Final Boss series. And it just has all the goals that I have set out for myself. First goal is going to be to kill every solo boss a thousand times, and there are 23 of those. And to get the pseudo ultimate final boss, I'm going to have to kill every single boss a thousand times. And that's going to be 27 of them. There are four bosses that are not solo. Uh, I do have 29 in question marks. I don't know if I'm going to include Beastmaster, uh, Durzag, and Yakamaru on here. A thousand kills of the raid bosses are going to take a long time. If I'm trying to get loot from all of them, it's going to be nigh on impossible. That's like five or six years worth of doing raids. Uh, that's just not going to happen. I may choose to kill Beastmaster, Durzag, and Yakamaro for non-loot runs. If I do choose to include this in there and try to get a thousand of both of those kills. Uh, but if I do that, I'm probably going to be trying to kill all the hardcore or hard mode bosses a thousand times as well. Uh, next up is going to be getting all the boss drops. I do not know how many boss drops there are. There are a lot. I'll have to add that up before starting up my first actual episode of this, but right now it's going to be zero out of a lot. Uh, and getting all the boss pets is going to be another big one. Right now I have it set at 38 boss pets. I did not include all of the Araxor boss pets. I only had two of, I think, eight that I included into this. I may add those in at a later date so you may see this number increase in a later episode but for now 38 seems to be the amount that they had on the wiki next up is going to be getting all of the boss titles again with uh, all of the bosses uh, only 27 of the bosses actually have boss titles associated with them and actually have a log that keep track of your drops so that means there are 27 boss titles and the last thing I'm going to be keeping track of is how much money I'm making. I do not have a goal set for this per se, but I do have some things that I would like to buy. So right now I'm just going to keep track of how much money I'm making. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of money to reach all my actual goals. So it's not even worth trying to tabulate that all because by the end of this, everything is going to change. Prices of all of the tier 92s and everything are going to change. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of this. How am I going to kill a thousand of every single boss? It seems kind of unachievable, but the best way that I thought of to do it is just to take it one bite sized chunk at a time. So I set this up to basically just do one boss at a time. I'm going to be killing the giant mole to start out with, and then once I complete a thousand kills of the giant mole, I can move on to the next boss, and the next boss is going to be the King Black Dragon. Now this is going to take a really long time for every single boss, so it's going to be possibly two to three weeks in between uploads of this. Uh, I'm going to have mini series going on for this, so that I can hopefully at least get one upload for you guys every single week, but I can't guarantee that, especially in the beginning, because I am limiting the amount of bosses that I can do. So I'm going to kill a thousand giant moles, then I'm going to kill a thousand KBD, then a thousand chaos elementals, so on and so forth throughout this entire list. It's going to take a long time, I understand that, uh, and as you can see, I only have 23 bosses on this list. The other four bosses are going to be bosses that I have to do as a group. 
debatably the cow fight king I can do not as a group but I'm not good enough at bossing as of right now to do cow fight king by myself so I'm gonna just consider that a group boss and the rest of these are gonna be the solo bosses I can do group bosses at any point that I would like that's just so that if I am able to find a group I will kill that boss I doubt that I'm gonna be able to get a group that wants to do whichever boss let's say Virago 24 7 for three weeks straight that's just not going to happen to get that thousand kills so I'm gonna be slowly accumulating the kills for the last four group bosses as I go and the solo bosses are the only things restricted behind the must kill 1000 of the previous boss before you can actually kill the next boss and last up we have our money making goals now as you can see there's a lot of money to be made before I actually achieve all of these goals, I even have a green party hat on there. I'm probably going to be saving that one to last because I know that green party hat is worth so much. It's going to be like $5 billion right now. That's a lot of gold. I have $40 million in my money pouch right now. I'm not even close to the amount of money that I would need to get the green party hat. Uh, so off to the left, I have the majority of the money minus tier 99 prayers that's going to be on the right side but I'm going to be focusing mainly on the right side to start out with uh, I have two mass cab ability codexes that I still need to buy it's about worth 30 million I have already unlocked both of the basic abilities for range and magic but I have yet to unlock the onslaught and the shatter slash whatever the accumulating ability is so that's about 30 million. That's probably gonna be one of my first goals, just so I can have that out of the way. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna be achieve or working on right away is getting all of the Anima Core outfits. Now I want these because I'm gonna be killing quite a few of the lower level bosses, which means I'm not gonna want to have to pay for degrade costs the entire time while I'm killing all of these. So the Anima Core is gonna be the best outfits that I can wear while killing the lower level bosses that don't need the higher level outfits. Uh, on the top right here I have the uh, augmented items. I don't know for sure what I'm going to want to augment. I know for sure I'm going to want to augment some tier 90 power armor. I'm probably going to be waiting until that's actually achievable to get to level 20 on those so that the perks can be better. Uh, and I'm debating whether or not to actually augment and put perks on all of the tier 80 power armors. That way that they can just continuously level up. And it's going to be slightly cheaper. Uh, so it'd be like a mid-tier between the Anima Core and the tier 90 augmented armors. I'm not sure if that's going to actually be necessary. I may only do it for certain styles. But tier 90 for sure, Anima Core for sure. Now the bottom middle there, uh, those are the uh, Proleskian ability cortex or however the heck you pronounce that. Uh, it's going to cost me 2 billion to get all three of the tier 99 prayers. Uh, they're extremely good though so for sure I'm going to be looking into getting those once I get enough money from this series or uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of money making through just random skilling methods whenever I want to just AFK instead of actually bossing that will go towards getting all of these items as well. Off to the left side I have the three tier 99 or sorry tier 92's it's gonna be the Saren Godbow, the Zeros God Sword and the Staff of Sliske. Now the sword and the bow are both, both work, worth about 1.25 billion and the Staff of Sliske is about 2.5 billion but it's over max cash so it's gonna be worth a lot everything over max cash is just a lot to me I don't even know how I'm gonna get to max cash I've never been anywhere close to that might as well getting above max cash and of course I already talk, talked about getting the green party hat that's a long-term goal that's probably gonna be the final thing that I do and if I achieve that I'm gonna be happy with this series for sure Hopefully this has explained exactly how I'm going to achieve the title that I'm going to call the ultimate final boss. 
If you guys have any questions, go ahead and, and ask me them down in the comments down below. I would love it if you subscribe, that way you can see this entire series. It's going to take years, but it is going to happen eventually. I'm, I'm really committed to this. I really want to get this done at some point in the future. This is going to be possibly the biggest achievement that I've ever had in RuneScape if I can manage to get this done, and I plan on doing this. I know that there's going to be some road bumps in the way. I'm sure there's going to be times where I don't upload anything for two to three months on this series. And you guys just need to be patient with me. I'm going to be putting as much effort as I can into this. Getting every boss killed a thousand times and getting every boss drop. It's going to happen in the future. I would love to see you guys all there when it happens and when I get to the end of the series. And as always, have a good one.